How to Upload Verifications to the DTA Connect website. In this video, we will go over how to upload verifications to DTA Connect. Uploading verifications using DTA Connect can help you. Tell DTA about changes. Keep your benefits by providing documents DTA asks for. Maximize your benefits without needing to call or visit DTA. You will learn the step-by-step -step instructions on how to upload many different items, including how to submit verification documents, a voluntary request to stop or cancel benefits, a request for an authorized representative. An authorized rep is someone that can assist with completing documentation, shopping for you, or updating case information. A request for replacement benefits due to household misfortune. Upload documents to DTA Connect to tell us about a change or to provide proof of documents DTA asked for on a verification checklist. For example, you can tell us about Household income. Examples. Submitting pictures of your pay stubs or written. Sign letter from your employer on letterhead detailing hours worked. Frequency of hours and gross pay with an employer signature. If your income ends, you can also provide a termination letter from your employer with the date last worked and date last paid. Household members. Examples. A signed written statement that someone moved in or out of your home. This includes the addition of a newborn. If adding a member, we will need social security number and date of birth. Medical cost for anyone 60 plus or disabled. Examples. Submitting bills or receipts of medical costs if your total monthly health slash medical costs are greater than $190. If your medical expenses are between $35 and $190 per month, you can write a signed statement with how much you pay per month. Child support cost. Examples. Submit information from the Department of Revenue that verifies your legal obligation to pay child support and verifies your child support payments. SNAP work rule exemptions. Examples. You can write a signed statement if you meet one of the work rules exemptions such as being homeless, having a health problem that limits you from working, caring for a child under the age of six, or a disabled adult. The following step-by-step -step instructions will show you how to upload documents using DTA Connect. Step 1. Go to www.dtaconnect.com and press Login. Step 2. Enter the email address and password you used when creating your DTA Connect account, then press Login. Step 3. Press the Documents tab at the top of your homepage. Step 4. Press Send a Document to DTA. Step 5. Read the instructions, then press Continue. Step 6. You will receive a pop-up message that requires you to select what kind of document you are sending. Choose a document, then press Continue. Step 7. You will see a pop-up message that will require you to select who the document is about, then press Continue. Step 8. You will see a pop-up message that tells you to choose a file to send. Please make sure the picture you've taken is clear and can be easily read. Step 9. After you attach your first document, you have two options. Option 1. Add another file or Option 2. Send to DTA. Step 10. Press Send to DTA when you are ready to submit all your documents. Step 11. You will receive a pop-up message indicating thank you for using DTA Connect to upload your document. Status will change here once your document has been processed. Please be patient as DTA processes documents in the order in which they are received. Some documents require several stages of review. You will receive a notice if there is a change to your benefits. If we need more information, we may call you. Continue to check back for updates.